I start. Yo! It's your most hated kaiju power scaler, King Churros here. And I'm here with my boy, Big Moose. Hey. And today, we're gonna do a video suggested by Alice. Thank you, Alice, for this video, which is 100 junior juvenile skull crawlers versus the Rampage Trio. Now, this fight's gonna go a little bit crazy. We're gonna set some rules first. It's gonna take place on we're it's gonna take place on Skull Island or Chicago. So the locations of Eater Film. And um yeah, the hunter skull crawlers are all gonna attack at once. It's not it's not gonna be like a gauntlet where it's one at a time. It's literally gonna be all one hundred skull crawlers just barging in. You guys remember that scene in Pacific Rim with those Little kaiju things that made mega kaiju just running through the town. Yeah, just imagine a bunch of June juvenile skull crawlers doing that with the Rampage Trio. Now the Rampage Trio, they will be given no prep time. But they kinda are because it's not like the skull crawlers are gonna be immediately on top of them, like just biting them and stuff. They're gonna they're gonna start at like twenty to thirty kilometers away from each other, so that will give Rampage Trio some time to prepare. But yeah. So anyways, like how Alice suggested this video. New subscribers, new people watching this. Why are you scared? Why are you shy? Suggest a video. You want to see Biolante versus Baragon? Okay. You want to see Kiryu versus King Ghidorah? Okay. Just say so. I'm doing any suggestions. Say whatever kaiju battle you want to see. I will have it up and ready for you. And also, there's a new Discord. It's gonna be in the uh, description of below. We're gonna have debates and discussions, all so forth. We already have people in there. We want to get as many people in there as much as possible. You can even catch me debating some people on there. Maybe de you could debate me if one of my videos made you mad and be like, "No, nah, he's wrong. There's no way that monster wins." You can debate me on it and prove it. You know what I'm saying? So join the Discord. So without any further ado, let's uh, let's begin with the battle. First off, we're gonna go over attack potency. So, starting with attack potency, this goes straight to the Rampage Trio. The Rampage Trio are crazy in terms of their AP. They're able to damage and destroy buildings around their size, and they're able to flip over tanks and destroy helicopters and body jets, and we got Lizzie just shoulder barging a whole ferry. Like, they're really strong, and they, they can have some pretty high power. Um, now when it comes to skull crawlers, they're, they don't really have any crazy feats as for the juvenile skull crawlers. They don't have any crazy feats that really shows them to be like at a higher tier than the Rampage Trio when it comes to AP. Uh, some of the best feats for the juvenile skull crawlers is destroying a Triceratops skull, which yeah, is pretty nice, but that's not flipping over a tank. Neither is that, you know, destroying buildings. So, it's good, but not, not as strong as these guys. I would like to also mention... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on it. So, coming towards durability-wise... This goes once again to the Rampage Trio. They are able to completely shrug off a fall from a skyscraper. Uh, so, in terms of AP and durability, they have about large building level. Uh, AP slash durability may be higher and if you want to really lowball them building level at best but they should realistically be higher than that so yeah and the skull crawlers themselves they're small building level um, they don't really have any feats that go past that they easily got bodied by baby Kong who's only about building level he easily just Punches them and throws them around like they're nothing. So yeah, they're they're nothing special They're definitely not large building level like the rampage trio classes Like I said one of the best things they've done is destroy a triceratops skull But other than that they didn't really get a chance to prove how really strong they are They're they really just killed humans and that's about it. So yeah, nothing too crazy there. So yeah, as terms of AP and durability, that goes to the Rampage Trio. Now, uh, on to speed. 
Uh, when it comes to movement and travel speed, the both of them are actually pretty relative. Superhuman speeds, moving up to 70, 100 miles uh, for both sides. So yeah, it's they're about the same speed in terms of travel speed. However, reaction speed's a different story. We have the skull crawlers, juvenile ones, not being able to scale to Kong in terms of speed. He completely blitzes them, even when he has his back turned to them. He's fighting two at once. He has one, his, his back turned to one, and he could still blitz that one skull crawler, and that skull crawler couldn't do anything to him. So, this Kong uh, reacts to jets, which has um, subsonic speeds at best. Uh, the, yeah, subsonic speeds. So if they can't really scale the Kong in terms of speed, they should not have subsonic speed reactions. They should probably scale to their actual s travel speed, which is about superhuman. So 100 miles, 70 miles per hour, you know, uh, around there. Like actual, like how fast, like the fastest animals in real life are. They're about like there. Could be faster than that. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see what else. They haven't really dodged anything too crazy. Like, it's not like they were dodging missiles or anything. And they didn't really care for bullets. They kind of charged into it because they didn't do too much to them. However, on the Rampage side, we have Lizzie catching a jet in midair. Now, you can argue this jet isn't going at full speed, and that's fine. But it'll still have to be moving around super... Uh, not, um, it could be moving around subsonic to supersonic speeds. Which is faster than anything the skull crawlers has. So Lizzie would be able to react to every single skull crawler coming at her. They'll be moving too slow for her, for her to not be able to react to them. As she, since she's able to completely catch a jet in midair, which is highly impressive. So yeah, um, what else? Intelligence. Guess what? Goes to the Rampage Trio yet again. <laughs> now hear me out, hear me out. George is just a gorilla in it. So he's already got that intelligent advantage. But he should be smarter than the average gorilla. He's able... Yes, gorillas in real life are able to uh, do sign language to communicate with humans. But George is so advanced with it. He's able to make jokes and play dead with uh, The Rock. Showing that he has very relativistic intelligence to a human itself. So George is really smart. The skull crawlers, Ramorak is the one who showed the best intelligence, and he's the big skull crawler. We're talking about juvenile skull crawlers, which aren't shown to be that intelligent. Not to mention, juvenile uh, skull crawlers sell themselves like hard. They like sell the bag so hard. These these guys sell the bag so hard because they're just so hungry. They'll do anything to eat. They're just so hungry. They just eat, 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 and just sell their souls just to eat, bro. Like, these, these homies just can't stop, bro. If Milk was here, he'd be like, yo, I relate. So, yeah, bro. Like, they, they're, they could potentially be smart, but they will sell the bag to eat. And in this situation, they're trying to eat the Rampage Trio, so they're going to most likely sell the bag. And uh, Ralph and Lizzie... Um, from what I can remember, they don't have anything too crazy in terms of intelligence, but they should also be about, uh, they should also be, they, they're, they're pretty, like, average animal, animalistic intelligence. Nothing too crazy. But George alone carries for in terms of intelligence. So that'll go for, um, the Rampage Trio. Now, how do I see this fight going? Have any of you played Kingdom Hearts? You guys remember in Kingdom Hearts 2, the 1000 uh, Heartless Battle? That's how this fight would go. Now, if you don't know Kingdom Hearts, uh, let me think of another better example that people could probably remember easier. Um, since this is the Kaiju community, what's a good example? You, you, got, you got any ideas, Big Loose? I'm trying to think of a good Kaiju example for this. Mm -hmm. uh, let me say... You guys remember in Godzilla vs. Mechagirus when he was getting attacked by a swarm? 
That's going to be this fight. So the Rampage Trio is just going to slaughter every single juvenile skull crawler. For one, their attack potency and durability is much higher than the skull crawlers. Their hits with quite literally, I'm not exaggerating one shot, especially with Lizzie. She's going to be the hard carry on the team, but that's not to discredit George or Ralph either. They are definitely going to put in the work as well. But Lizzie being so much larger and being the strongest member of the Rampage Trio, she's going to be a, a heavy contender. And she's going to just swing her club around and just bite these scroll crawlers' heads off. Now remember, these skull crawlers were hurt and killed by flamethrowers and 70s weapons. They were hurt and damaged by those. The Rampage Trio were tanking modern day weapons without, without really no true damage to them. The, if anything, the only thing that got the monsters killed at a Rampage are the other Rampage monsters, not the human weapons. So that should pretty much tell you how strong these guys are so if weapons that are a lot more powerful nowadays can't really do all too much yes they were affected by some of these weapons i will admit but it's not like they were bleeding and dying from them they were tanking them so if modern day weapons aren't a huge threat to the rampage trio yet older 70 weapons is a threat as the humans were able to kill once juvenile skull crawler and yet fully trained arsenal men a whole military attacking all three of these monsters in Chicago couldn't even kill one of them. In fact, they got folded like bad. That should already tell you the big difference in gap of power. So the Rampage Trio should have no issue one-shotting each of these monsters with bites and scratches and punches. Including George and Ralph. They should also one-shot. And they should be able to take on what these scroll crawlers can bite. And force on them like I said earlier the skull crawlers don't show anything too extraordinary when it comes to AP so there's no real strong strong deep-rooted evidence to prove that the the skull crawlers would just make these guys bleed and fall apart and crumble there's there's not a lot a lot of sh true strong evidence for that in fact there's a lot more for the rampage trail so that should already show you that these guys would just slaughter them like they'll just be taking one out one out You guys seen the new Batman movie just imagine just imagine like three Batmans fighting All those crooks like like how he did in the film just imagine that he's just they're just beating these guys down Just slaughtering them. It's like not even much that that much of a fight really especially with Lizzie around Not to mention we got George the genius. He's pretty intelligent so he could come up with strategies. He can find new weapons if he's in Skull Island. He could do what Kong did and use like uh, materials around him. Probably lift up a boulder or use a tree and like smack the skull colors around. He should be intelligent enough to do that as he was able to use a spear that damaged him to pierce into Lizzie's eye. So there should be no reason he shouldn't be able to use weapons here. We also have... Um, we also have uh, some hacks abilities with uh, Ralph's quills. He can fire these quills out. These quills are strong enough to take out helicopters. Now I want to remind you guys something. Guess who kills the skull crawlers with relative ease and also takes out helicopters? That's right, Baby Kong. So if Baby Kong could completely annihilate these baby crawlers, right? And he could destroy helicopters, right? And Ralph can destroy these helicopters. In fact, more advanced helicopters, because these are modern-day helicopters, not 70s ones. So if anything, these should be more durable than the ones before. But let's just say they're the same durability. That would also mean that Ralph's quills should take out the skull crawlers. So, and not to mention, Ralph can fly. So let's say... The, let's just say Lizzie and George aren't doing their job and keeping some of these skull crawlers off the boy Ralph. That man can just fly away. What the skull crawlers gonna do? They don't, can't, they don't have any like crazy speed feeds like that. So Ralph could just fly away if he gets overwhelmed, which he most likely won't. But any situation, he has that high agility. And I'm not saying the baby skull crawlers don't, don't have high agility, but... 
they don't have flight, which is already an advantage for Ralph. So that's another advantage there. Then we got big tanky Lizzie, who's out here taking grenades to the ear, a weak point, because that's where her flesh is, not her hard skin. So if she could survive that in her weak point, mind you, skull crawlers were hurt by flamethrowers, which is not as strong as missiles, anti-tank missiles, which Lizzie took right to the face and shrugged it off. She's going to completely annihilate these guys. And mind you, like I said earlier, George and Ralph were taking these weapons. They were tanking them. But who cut off uh, Ralph's head? That's right, Lizzie. So she should also easily do the same here with the skull crawlers who have even weaker durability. What? Who have even weaker durability. So that would just help prove this whole scenario. This is an absolute slaughter. I don't see even one Rampage member dying here. Literally not one. They should all be able to handle this just fine. These guys, these guys are just going to walk into either Chicago or Skull Island. They're going to act like they're the ones, right? When these juvenile skull crawlers are going to be like, yo, bro, free lunch, free lunch. Hey, yo, let's go crazy. And then they all die. All of them dead. Lizzie, Lizzie's having a feast. Ralph having a feast. George, he's confused about life. He's thinking if he wants a banana or not. In fact, that man's questioning life itself. He's probably sitting in the back of a back of a chair right now with The Rock. And he's like having an existential crisis, right, Big Moose? Mm-hmm. And he's probably thinking to himself, like, "Yo, why are you human, but I'm monkey?" You know, and you know, as he's thinking about these things, the skull crawlers are just dying. This man is literally going to have, have, have a whole conversation with The Rock, wondering about life. And the skull crawlers are just getting folded. That's how badly the skull crawlers are going to get folded. It's that bad. So, yeah. And I'm going to add my new uh, stuff to the arguments. Narratively, guess who wins? The Rampage Trio, yet again. Uh, usually, I don't even feel the need to use a narrative argument for this one, but... Uh, I want to add more spice to these battles. Narratively, the Rampage Trio should still win. Uh, George is an outright protagonist, so he has. So if this was a narrative fight, like to actually happen in the film, he has plot armor to begin with. He's a hero, and if Ralph and if Ralph and Lizzie are backing him up, they're likely to be protagonists as well, unless it ends up like the original movie where they just. Just attack each other after the skull crawlers are dead, but either way the skull crawlers would be dead. But yeah, let's just say for the sake of this battle, they're they're on the same side as Ralph anyway, so they should be protagonists as well. Heroes, 90% of the times in movies and just media itself, they win. And since George won in his film as the hero, there should be no reason he loses here, especially the skull crawlers, who are highly antagonized, and uh, Kong himself. Who's also a protagonist, ape cat creature, bodies these guys and defeats them. No reason here for George to lose uh, using the same context. And if he has help, it just makes it even better. So narratively, the Rampage Trio wins yet again. Now, what about equal stats? Are you kidding me? Why are you even thinking that? That's just a stupid question. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, you guys get the picture. The Rampage Trio slaughter these guys. It is a massacre. Scroll collar bodies are everywhere. This is a complete dub for the Rampage Trio. Shout out to the Rampage Trio. They took the dub here. And yeah. Oh crap. Um So anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways. Tell me, do you guys disagree with my analysis? Do you agree with my analysis? Am I are you in the middle? Am I speaking facts? Am I speaking cap? How about you say something in the comment section below? Suggest a, a battle you would like to see. Give this video a like and subscribe. Share it. Tell your friends about it. Tell that King Churros is on the rise. I'm on my come up. What versus battles y'all trying to see? I got a bunch of them. 
and look out for that Rodan ranking video. Which Rodan you think is the strongest? Which Rodan you think is the weakest? We're gonna find out soon. That video's coming out soon. So please like, subscribe, tell me what's going on, guys. And King Churros will see you later.